I'm Emma Hammett from First Aid for Life and OnlineFirstAid.com. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to help if somebody has got their fingers crushed in something or something as a hinge of some sort has caught their fingers and their finger has been amputated. So immediate first aid makes a huge difference. One of my friends was in hospital having her second child and her husband was at home looking after her toddler. And he said, come on, let's go and see mummy. He got out the buggy, he put his foot on to the buggy to open it and didn't realize that the toddler's finger was in the mechanism and the child's finger came off. So what should you do first? Well, obviously your priority is the screaming child. So he sat the little one on his knee, he reassured them, he did all the right stuff, he grabbed something, some non-fluffy, as sterile or clean as he possibly got, um, or failing that, a clean tea towel or a muslin nappy or something, and he applied direct pressure over the wound. And he reassured the child until they were no longer hysterical. Okay, so first thing you want to do is apply direct pressure and deal with the poor child who has, who has lost their finger. Once that bleeding is under control and they are calmer, you can then turn your attention to the amputated part. Because if you treat that properly, it can be sewn back on again, okay? So first thing, don't wash it, because when you get to hospital, they're going to want to sew on all the individual nerves and the blood vessels, and if you've washed it, you're gonna lose bits and damage it. We are meat, so you want to chin it. So contrary to what you may have seen on TV, please don't wrap it in ice. What you want to do is get your finger, wrap it in some clean, non-fluffy cloth. Please don't wrap it in loo roll or um, cotton wool because that leaves residue, which makes it harder for us when we're in hospital. So wrap it in some clean, um, non-fluffy cloth and then put it in a plastic bag or wrap it in some cling film or something like that and then you would put it onto your ice pack so you are chilling it not freezing it so again as I said before we are meat and what you want to do is to make sure that the amputated part stays in the best possible condition so that when you get to hospital we can sew it back on now, for the child, please don't give them anything to eat or drink. Um, the child that I was telling you in the story, um, they had just had their lunch and they wouldn't operate for six hours because it's not a life-threatening emergency, losing your finger. Likewise, you don't necessarily need an ambulance. You would just be using the ambulance as transport. There's nothing that you can't deal with in terms of first aid. Um, so uh, you're controlling the bleeding, and then you're looking after the amputated part and you're transporting both the child and the amputated part, chilled and ready, and labels is also very helpful, um, to the hospital with you. Now, what if they have bruised their fingers? Or, actually, let's go for the first one. What happens if it's nearly amputated, but there is still a blood supply? If there is still a blood supply, then what you want to do is just bandage that on um, possibly keep it chilled as well if that's possible to do and get them to hospital quickly because if there is still a blood supply um, you want them to have a chance of getting it re back on as quickly as possible. If it's just bruised fingers um, or crushed fingers then cool running water is really helpful. So if they've been shut in the car door but they haven't come mm -hmm. off they're just really bruised cool running water um, will do the job fantastically. If you think that the nail is likely to come off, get them to hospital and get it seen to, because what we can do is we can actually uh, drill a little hole into the nail and relieve some of the pressure, if that might be helpful and enable them to keep the nail. So I hope that's been helpful. That's Emma Hammett from First Aid for Life, www.firstaidforlife.org.uk and onlinefirstaid.com. And my new book is out, Burns, Falls and Emergency Calls, um, The Ultimate Guide to the Prevention and Treatment of Childhood Accidents, and it's available on Amazon.
Or alternatively, if you go to my website, you can get it for free and just pay the postage. Thanks for listening and have a good day.